So we are going out to the Crooked River State Park. They are having an art show out there today and we're gonna go see what it's all about. Uh, the art show is part of the Friends with Crooked River. Uh, they do events throughout the whole year. So if you wanna check out upcoming events, uh, go to their Facebook page at Friends at Crooked River. So uh, let's get ready and let's go see what they have. So I know last time when I was out here, I didn't show the camping grounds. So we thought we'd drive back here and show some of the campgrounds and uh, cabins that they have. Looks like they recently did a burnout here a couple of, a couple of days ago. I think it was a week and a half ago. Yeah. What was it, like the 20, 26th or something? Yeah. Yeah, like so today's the 30th, 30th of April. Today's the 2nd. Oh, 2nd. 2nd of May. Oh my goodness, it's May already. So I wanted to give you all some information about their campsites out here. The main campground for premium sites are $42 for a full hookup, pull through, and uh, a water view. Uh, the standard is $34 and tent sites are $30. Check-ins at 12 o'clock and I mean uh, 1 o'clock and check-out is at 12 o'clock. So up here are the cottages that they have on site. They start from anywhere from 160 per night all the way up to a three bedroom premium which sleeps 10 people for $225 per night. They have a couple of cottages that are also dog friendly, but if you're going to have dogs, um, it's an extra $50 fee uh, per dog. Check-in times here are between 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. and check-out time is at 11 a.m. for the cabins. So they have also picnic facilities. They are first come first serve, but if you want to guarantee a spot, uh, they, you can make reservations for $30 a day. They also have group shelters for big activities out here uh, ranging from $150 to $250 a day. Uh, they also have a miniature golf course out here which is a lot of fun. You can rent equipment for that and also bicycle rentals. Um, all of this information can be found on their website if you would like more information about it. So if you come out here with your RV, um, right here is their dumping station. So it's a pretty good, good part of the site. Yeah, it's a, I mean, if you've got fifth wheels or toy haulers, um, there's plenty of space to pull all the way into. They've got big hookups. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's nice and labeled. Yeah. Big septic system right there. I like that one. Yeah. That one's really nice. Yeah. Buddy, you don't always have to stick your nose in the camera, honey. Spark? That is very sparkly, isn't it? Oh yeah. You see his painting, Sadie? Looks really good, huh? Hi. I like your paint. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm 
Are we having fun today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I should have come out here and brought my paint set today. Thank you. <laughs> Have y'all been over there? I think they're letting kids do art over here. On yeah, we were going to go uh, maybe get them to do it, but they're a little busy right now, so we were going to go, go over there when they die down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we got all kinds of colors. Right. So the kids get to come over here and make their own paintings. What you gonna make, Bella? Two of each color. Something pretty. It's gonna be a surprise. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on the plate. Keep the plate from disappearing. We don't want the plate to disappear. Now we don't want it to flip up in the air and put paint all of you and everything else. Okay. 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 Wait a minute, can I go? Wait, well, we just had some. Here's, here's a sponge for you. Dye! Mm. Are you yeah. done? I'm gonna yeah. dry now. That means, oh, that You're is going. so You're cool! Going. I'm driving down an empty freeway No waiting for the light to change I'm seeing the sunrise behind So this next artist up here, they have sketches and drawings and photography. We really enjoyed their booth, really enjoyed talking to them. And if any of this stuff looks interesting to you and you want to maybe purchase your own or you just want to check out more of their work, go to Amanda Moore Custom Art on Facebook and uh, check out their page. I like that, the shot of like the swings yeah. there, that's really cool. Yeah, Amanda does all like the this. fine art stuff, all the prints, the originals, she makes the jewelry, the carpet wow. magnets, some of the photography's her, some of the photography's mine. Oh, and with the advent of cell phones and things that people, their, most of their photos just go off into the ether and are never yeah. seen again. So. Uh, I think you're on the right road. Road. Uh, There's a great All on them that come great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, we have uh, some more, but I Yeah, have yeah, for sure. And don't tell your pup because we <laughs> claim that you'll lose it. <laughs> it is yeah. so easy and it tastes good. So some jump ropes, huh? Yeah, let's leave it tied up and then we can play with it when we yeah. get back home, okay? Yeah. All right, great, you. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna go see what they have? So we started uh, diving into our food before actually getting a closer picture of the tacos we got. We ended up getting um, two tacos from the Fat, fat Smoke um, food, food truck. truck. Yeah. <laughs> the barbecue food truck company. Um, really good. Uh, we'll Pretty put some pictures up there. Uh, we got some really good stuff. I kind of wish they coming. had like barbecue sauce on this. It yeah. was like with sour cream instead. 
Um, so barbecue sauce would have brought out that smokiness a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so we got the brisket and the pulled pork. And yeah. I'm a sucker for brisket. It's okay. Um, it, it's, I mean, it's a brisket taco. Like I said, like Bree said, there's not a, there's no like sauce or anything on it. So if that's what you're looking for, I think you can get sauce on the side if you get it just by the pound. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really, really good. So this is the nature center that they have here at the um, Crooked River State Park. Um, they recently updated it and they have snakes and fish and turtles and bees in there that you can learn all about. So bring the kids on out here and uh, not only enjoy nature, but to learn about it too. <laughs> So the Nature and Education Center has programming available upon advance notice, a junior ranger programming, live animal exhibits as you can see, a classroom and laboratory facilities for group programming use. They also have interpretive walks through the forest, birds, plants, and environmental science. Fox squirrels are the largest species of tree squirrel native in North America. Hmm. Snake. So we have these in our backyard.
these are the beekeepers that they have here at the park and they were here explaining about the care of the bees and this kind of looking house that you have here is filled with bees in the honeycomb and they actually have a tunnel that goes through the wall back there for the bees to get inside and then you get to see how the inside of a beehive works this is pretty cool after they get enough Right now, they'll probably have more comb on the, on the inside, and then they'll draw out more than on the outside. Yeah. They're going to work from the inside out. Yeah. I know. Let's help out there. Yeah. Oh, they said it wasn't there yesterday. Yeah, about a month. It's done the whole thing. We are back from the art show uh, at the park and it was overall really nice. The kids loved the painting workshop that they had there. It was free, didn't cost anything. Uh, the barbecue tacos that we had from Fat Boys Barbecue Food Truck, those were really good too. And it was just an overall really nice afternoon out in the park and enjoying nature and enjoying conversations with the local artists. If you liked this video, remember to like and subscribe to our channel and be sure to share to get the word out about our channel and we will see you next time. Bye.